Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Alisa Tropical Fruit Tree. So today, just would like to update my um, citrus tree. I'm not so sure how many I have, but I'm going to show you today. And so my first one we call um, uh, I'm I'm Peru, and the tree was so healthy, and there's a getting a. Uh, the longer one growing from the last summer is from here all the way up there getting very tall now over two meter and the fruits not up there so fruit all around in here at the bottom hanging here guys look at this <laughs> so much very amazing isn't it so this is my emperor uh, we call um mandarin mandarin emperor it was sweet it's very nice but they have a little bit of seed and the fruit not as big small as about like a lemon side and some you can have them here it's so amazing is it the tree is very very healthy and it's not only that now the new growth start coming up guys which is everywhere now and because i pruned my uh pajola or we call pineapple guava oh so this summer coming will be get more sun maybe we get more fruit yeah and anyway i would like to show you so the new growth it's everywhere it start coming up again <laughs> so that's my first uh, citrus uh mandarin we call uh imperial and my second one is uh honey murakot the fruit was why very big but i'm not so sure why my tree the fruit was very small see how small it is it seems last size like uh, my imperial same size it's not as big and maybe the tree is too small guys so the fruit's not as big yet but soon when the time coming and the tree getting bigger maybe the fruit was bigger because i love honey maricot i always buy from the supermarket the fruit was so big and the seed they have seed too but not many only few seed in it and fruit so big and very juicy and sweet sweet like a honey cup. i'm not joke it's a amazing taste flavor <laughs> and look at they have so many fruit from the last summer here we go not summer maybe around end of summer yeah the flower they have like a whole whole year round crop this one japanese uh, sorry we call honey murkot and look at this so amazing i counting around over 30 fruit in the tree it's everywhere <laughs> so my honey maricotta tree was very healthy i transferred them early this year into the ground and when you go put them in the ground they're growing very fast and now they start moving as well it's so exciting guys you grow the tree you excited to see when they're moving how they're going how the fruit keep the you know, develop and how the tree healthy look at the end here they got a new grow as well so beautiful here a new grow here so my number two in the ground citra we call mandarin and this this is my um lemonade lemon i saw last year this time tree look bold no no grow no sign nothing i saw the tree was dying but again they're coming back i'm so happy and the fruit so many fruit and the fruit start changing a color too and many fruit already and now they give a new shoot then the new shoot they got a flower beautiful isn't it guy and that's a new shoot so amazing <laughs> new i see new grow everywhere start coming over there too so healthy so this is my lemonade lemon and look at the fruit everywhere guys i'm so happy and the flower so at the same time they're coming and you grow they're coming a flower and then painting the fruit everywhere this how you want it guys i believe if you grow all the tree you would love to see them to grow to flower and fruiting look at this 
super healthy isn't it so today is the 25th of august so we nearly our winter and the weather today was 14 degree and right now around 10 degree it's not as bad as cold <laughs> i come up very early so i'm starting to film the video guys i'm starting to film thing for you guys hope you enjoy my video and the fruiting it's so amazing and i can see all of you grow this help make me so happy because also the tree is dying i know my my uh, new friend from a youtube they don't know about what, why i said why the tree died because i i bought them from online we had to go to dig them up from the ground and then lost so much root and when we go they take like three of three hours or four hours and the the ground that we dig them up was like a rock and a clay it's, the soil was very bad and after we transfer them to the ground the tree was like no moving at all the leaves starting yellow and whole year it's nothing moving i said oh no the dead and then the last summer coming the tree start moving i was so shocked i said oh i got my tree back thank god and now look at here so at the same time the fruit the flower and they got a new growth here too guys how amazing so that's my citrus number three in the ground so anything i have a citrus i have to show you at the front one so this one is my um orange but i'm not exactly sure what variety is and the tree been like eight to nine years that's how the owner before we buy the house telling us so about now nine years yeah when they tell us about seven years so we've been here two years now <laughs> and the trunk is very big and look at the fruit hanging hold the tree guys so beautiful and super healthy yeah, I think the citrus it handle very well in the uh, in the winter time. They not die back or not burn at all. Even the leaf, guys, look what this. It's super healthy, and they got. I think it's the fruit is ready for it, but I have so much already. I I have the most every day, and still have everywhere still hanging around the tree. It looks so stunning, is it? Very nice, very healthy. I love the orange tree when they have a fruit, especially when they change into this orange color. They look so beautiful with the green. And not only that guy, they got a new growing with the flower coming again. So the tree looks very awesome. I very love this one, the citrus orange tree. Also, this is a navel, but that's not a navel because uh, look at the bottom one. It's a smooth. It's normally they have a dimple navel, so this one is not. But anyway, I very love the orange because the fruit was very juicy. When you pick and then you have them straight away, it's a bit sour. But you leave them in the counter for four five days, then they turning a bit sweet and sour. It's beautiful flavor, super juicy. Guy never go wrong with this one and yeah so this is my citrus um and this one is my citrus number four in the ground orange tree stunning guy beautiful when we just move in the tree looks unhealthy at all and now look that we give them fertilizer everything and my next video i will show you what fertilizer i do for all my tree guys so that's my trick and I will show you the trick as well. What I put it in, how do I look after to keep the tree healthy? And this is my citrus number five. It's a mandarin, a Japanese seedless. They have a last year five to six fruit for me. And a very big size. Very big and juicy. And now they got a new growth coming too. So ne ne nearly end of winter. So the tree start moving guys. How amazing the tree they know when they start moving and when they start to sleep. The morning guy, the birds with the annoying. <laughs> yeah and 
they've been transferred in the ground for one year and look at the bird they start to dig it out looking for the worm i guess messy so my citrus number five and this is my lime tree it's nothing moving at all been one and a half year two year now i think two year already the tree we call tahiti 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 lime tree two year been the same size i get this one divorce and the tree look not a very healthy the leaves so yellow i think they must be hungry for the food so so now we will when spring coming we will give them a fertilizer a bit and the fruit in the tree was ready to you for your cooking <laughs> and you to be a lot of fruit little one but they're not holding see when you just tie they coming out doesn't mean they won't grow any bigger but i can't see guy it's a more lamb coming i get that's a flower see that's a flower that's coming again they're not growing the tree they just growing flower flower so that's my number six citrus tahiti lemon sorry that's a lime tree and that's my citrus number seven we call lemon maya and these three have been nearly two years too so next year i think next year in my will be two years so one and a half year i got this and what the same size well not saying nothing much growing very tiny grow but this guy have a fruit whole year round as well <laughs> coming flower nothing growing you can see a lot of flowers start coming and he also is so tiny guys so that's my number six oh sorry my number seven and this is a coffee lime my number eight citrus so this coffee lime a lot of the leaves are gone because winter time the leaves getting red yellow and then falling off some is still green and the fruit turning yellow to ready to use well some fruit is falling here you know you can use the juice well from the coffee lime and the skin we can use cooking with the lemongrass the most asian we use the and uh, the trick if we can cut them slide like slide them and we boil them in the water and put sauce and uh, lemongrass i think in our culture we use them for the steam for the woman just to give a birth so keep the uh, beauty so that's my number citrus number a so amazing is that you can grow all the tropical fruit trees in the uh, winter time in Melbourne, Australia. So this one is uh, my uh, Nagami, Kamkwat Nagami. My little one in the ground, I transferred them maybe five months ago. That's all the new growth, but I can see the new lamb small one coming. But we'll see, we'll see. Can't tell much yet. So I got nine citrus in the ground at the moment, guys. Right, guys, thanks so much for all your big support and likes my channel. And please keep supporting. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.